What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to share with you five features that I have a feeling you probably didn't even know existed on Instagram. So if you're interested in learning about these five features, then keep on watching. Now, most of you know my style by now, so let's just cut straight into the chase. The first thing that I wanna teach you is how to limit your ad tracking. Now, this isn't a feature that's specifically on Instagram, but it does affect the way that you experience Instagram. So let me ask you a question. How many of you often get creeped out that you are talking about something with a friend and then the next day you see an advertisement that is literally exactly about what you talked about the day before. Now personally I have been quite creeped out by this but I found out a way to actually limit this on your phone. Now what you want to do and I'll share my screen right here. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to go on settings on your iPhone. Now I personally don't have an Android so I'm not sure how this looks like for Android users but with iPhone what you want to do is you want to go on settings. Now once you hit settings you want to find your privacy settings you click that and when you scroll all the way down what you're gonna see is a tab called advertising. And when you click that, there's going to be an option where it says limit ad tracking. Now, what you can do here is you can actually turn on limit ad tracking. So what this means is when you limit your ad tracking is that you're basically opting out on receiving ads targeted to your interests. Now, remember the number of ads that you'll see might be the same, but if you are someone who just wants to be super private and you don't want companies to have that information on what your interests actually are, this is a really great way to limit that information being sent to those companies from Apple. Now, I know that this feature isn't in Instagram per se. However, it will affect the quality or the type of advertisements that you see on Instagram and Facebook and any other platform that you browse through on your mobile phone. So I thought that I'd put this as my first tip just because it's kind of not about Instagram, but I still think that it's super interesting. Now, the second feature that's actually on Instagram that I don't think that many people know about is seeing your story reshares. Now, did you know that when you post something on Instagram and someone else shares that post on their story, you're actually able to track the amount of people that have actually reshared shared or reposted that post. Now, I know that sounds like super confusing, so without me telling you, I'm just going to show you. So right now I am on my dummy account and on my dummy account I literally only follow myself and I use this account as an example whenever I do videos like these. So right now on my feed I'm looking at one of the posts that I recently did on my actual account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this post to my story. Now once I've added this post to my story I'm going to go on my actual account and check it out. Now right now I am on my actual post and what you'll notice is that when I click on the right top hand corner on those three buttons I'm now going to see an option that says view story reshares. When I click that, I'm able to see the current public reshares of that post. When I click on this, I'm actually able to also see who exactly shared that post on their story. Now, if you try to click those three buttons and you do not see this option where it says view story repost, that means that no one has reshared your post. However, if you have someone that have actually shared that post onto their story, you're going to see that option and you're actually going to be able to tell who has actually mentioned you in their story by resharing the post that you did on Instagram. The third unknown feature slash setting that I want to share with you is actually desktop only settings. Now this is going to require me to share my desktop screen with you guys. So let's get right to it. All right, guys. So welcome to the third tip that I want to share with you. Now this tip or this feature I cannot share on mobile because it actually doesn't exist on mobile. You have to go on desktop. So right now I'm on www.instagram.com. What you want to do is you want to click on your profile. And when you click on your profile, you want to click edit profile right over here. Now, once you access this, you're going to have a checkbox here that will allow you to opt into Instagram to include your account when recommending similar accounts to people who might want to follow. Now, what this means is when someone is following an account that is in a very similar niche to you, what will generally happen is at the bottom, once they hit follow, Instagram will actually suggest a bunch of other accounts that that person should be following. And by checking this account, you will also be included. Now, what you also want to know is by checking this account, when someone also follows you, your account will also push out some recommendations for them as well. If you decide to opt out of this, this will not only mean that you won't show up in other people's recommendations, but other people also won't show up in yours. So that's something that you might want to consider. Now, obviously this is a really, really quick feature, but I definitely didn't know it existed until recently. So I definitely wanted to share that with you guys in case you missed it, because you certainly want to make sure that this is checked off, especially if you want to increase your reach on Instagram. All right guys, so clearly the fun does not stop because the fourth unknown feature slash setting that I want to share with you is something that is very specific to business accounts. Now, if you have a business Instagram account, I really hope that you're leveraging the 
call to action function. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, what I mean is when you go to your profile, again, I'll share it right here. When you click on edit profile, what you can do is you can click contact options. Now for all of us, it usually says email, but when you have a business account and you click on it, you can actually add a call to action button. Now when you click on this button, there are tons of call to actions that you can choose from, like booking, starting an order, um, reserving, all of these things. And this is super helpful if you are a service-based entrepreneur and you need to have book clients for or potential clients for your sales calls or you have consultation calls or if you're a restaurant owner and you want people to reserve a table with you these are really cool call to actions now personally I don't use the call to action button because I just don't want people to book me all the time uh, for a call but if you are someone who is starting out in your business and you really want to invite people to book you on a discovery call or things like that I'm actually gonna show my best friend Ella she also has a YouTube channel I'll link it right here but anyways going back to this she's actually leveraged this function and what you can see is she actually has a call to action called book and when you click on book it's going to pop up her calendar that she links with acuity and through here her potential clients can actually book her for a discovery call for her coaching services now the next feature that I want to share with you is how to hide your photos slash manually add the photos that people tag you in now what this means is that if you are someone who is constantly tagged in other people's photos even though you have nothing to do with a photo and you find it really annoying the feature that I'm going to show you is really going to help you with that and also help keep your tagged photos super clean and super nice. Now, like I've been doing for this entire video, let me just share my screen right over here to show you exactly what I mean. Now, what you want to do is when you go into your profile, you want to go to your settings. And when you go to your settings, you then want to go to privacy and security. And once you've entered privacy and security, you want to click on the tab that says photos and videos of you. Now, once you get to this page, you can actually turn off the setting where it says add automatically. And what this means is that you can actually manually accept when someone tags you in a post so that it doesn't automatically show in your tagged photos. Not only this, when you actually click on the next setting, which is hide photos and videos, you can then look at all of the photos that you've ever been tagged in and you can automatically choose which ones that you would like to hide. If you are someone who really cares about what people look at when they see your tagged photos, this is going to be a super useful setting for you so that you can really control what people are seeing on your profile. Now guys, already in this video, I've given you five cool little unknown features that most people don't know about that they can use on Instagram. But what I'm actually going to do in my next video on Wednesday is actually actually share with you some hacks and unknown features specifically for Instagram story. Now, a lot of you guys really, really enjoyed this video right here where I showed you the swipe up hack on Instagram story using IGTV. Well, I have a lot of that more under my sleeve. So make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when my next video actually drops because like I said, I'm going to be sharing you the other unknown features that you did not know about in terms of leveraging Instagram story specifically. So you definitely don't want to miss that. On top of that, if you want to see more videos about social media, business, and just life in general, then check out these two videos right over here. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great life, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.